Good morning, beautiful. Today, we're gonna to talk about back button focus and I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your Nikon camera. Larry here with Southern Exposure, information and inspiration for the amateur photographer. And if you're an amateur photographer who wants to take better pictures and have fun doing it, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Now let's get started. Shortly after I got my first DSLR, I was introduced to the idea of back button focusing. Now, if you're not familiar with it, basically what it means is that instead of half pressing the shutter button to achieve focus, you assign a button on the back of the camera that you press with your thumb to achieve focus, and then you press the shutter button to take the picture. Now, oddly enough, photography is a hobby that has a lot of arguments going on in it. JPEG versus RAW, crop sensor versus full frame, and one of the hottest debates is about whether or not back button focus makes sense. And I'm not gonna get full in depth into the debate, but I am gonna tell you the two main reasons that I use back button focus. The first one is it makes it much easier to focus and recompose, and that's where you want your focus in your frame to be on something that doesn't fall on one of your focus points of the camera when you set up your shot the way you want it. So you have to move the camera until one of your focus points falls on your subject, acquire focus, and then move the camera again to reframe the picture. And that's called focus recompose. Now, the reason you can't do that with the shutter button is every time you half press the shutter button, the camera focuses. So if you move the camera and you half press the shutter button and it gets focus, you have to keep that shutter button halfway pressed down while you move the camera back to recompose your image. For me, that was kind of difficult. I had a hard time determining exactly how much pressure to keep on the shutter button, and I would end up taking a picture before I was really ready to, or my finger would come off the button, I would lose focus, and I'd have to go through the whole scene again. The other big advantage to back button focus, for me personally, is it eliminates the whole issue of switching back and forth between AFS and AFC. AFS is autofocus single, and that means that once the camera achieves focus, it doesn't keep moving the focus point. It stays locked on that focus. Continuous autofocus, of course, is for moving subjects, where something that's moving closer to you or farther away from the camera, you can use continuous autofocus, and wherever that thing moves, as long as you have the focus point on your subject, the camera is gonna continuously readjust the focus. Now, when you're shooting different kinds of subjects, some of them require single autofocus and some of them require continuous autofocus. And you would have to either assign a button or go into the menus to switch back and forth between the two and that was just kind of a pain for me. So those are the two reasons that I choose to use back button focus. Now, if that works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with using the traditional half press of the shutter button to achieve focus. This is just a different way to achieve your goals and some people find that it works better. Now, some people say that back button focus is actually more complicated and difficult to use because it's an extra button that you have to press to take a picture. Now, I disagree. Try it out for a while and I promise you it'll become perfectly natural in a very short period of time. My nine-year-old daughter uses back button focus on her D3400 and that's the camera that we're gonna be using to demonstrate how this works. When using back button focus, you set your camera to AFC or continuous autofocus. And basically what this means is that whenever you're holding down your back button, the camera is focusing. When you let up on the button, it holds focus where it last had it. That's what makes it so easy to switch between AFC and AFS. Now I've got a simple scene set up here with three camera lenses on a table and I'm going to take a picture of them and I want the lens in the middle to be in focus and the other two falling out of focus. The problem is that lens doesn't fall on one of the focus points in the camera. So I have to take the camera, move it so that one of the focus points is on that lens, press the AF on button to achieve focus, and once it's focused on that lens, I release the button move the camera back to compose my shot and take the picture. On the other hand, if I'm shooting multiple subjects or a subject that's moving, all I have to do is hold down the back button to continuously autofocus and I can move from one lens to the next to take the pictures. The continuous autofocus means that every time I move my focus point onto a new lens, it refocuses on that lens. 
This is traditionally what we think of as continuous autofocus. And we can use that in addition to using the back button as sort of a substitute for single autofocus for focus recompose. Setting up back button focus is very easy. That means it's also easy to change it back if you decide you don't like it. So give it a shot. All we have to do is go into the menu. We want to choose the setup menu, which is the one that looks like a wrench icon. We use the directional pad to move down until we find the entry labeled buttons. Click OK to go to buttons. The first thing that we have to do is tell the camera not to focus when we press the shutter button halfway down. That's AF activation, and you can see here it says on. Press the OK button and choose disable. Now the camera won't try to focus when you half press the shutter button, but that's only half of the equation. We also have to tell it to focus when we press the AEL AFL button on the back of the camera. So we move up to assign AEAF button and choose OK. Scroll down in the menu to AF on and choose OK. And that's it. You're set up for back button focusing. So is back button focus right for you? Well, only you can decide that. But I do suggest that you at least try it out and see if you like it better. If you don't, you can always go back to using the half press of the shutter button. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. This is Larry with Southern Exposure, information and inspiration for the amateur photographer. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, then go out, take pictures, and have fun doing it. Thanks.